Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious and welcome to a tutorial. This is going to be a guide about a new error that I found come up with a uh, recent Java update. Java 7 update 51, which came out about three weeks ago, is going to be causing some people issues out there. If you're one of those unlucky people, you'll be getting an error like this. It says error click for details and you'll see that it says you have a security exception and that you're missing required permissions manifest in the attributes of the main jar file. Unfortunately, it's not exactly like it seems. Normally this would just simply mean uh, you have to go change some security features or the certificate for your site is totally messed up. In this case, it's just because of the new version of Java update 51. And I'm gonna go into the um, programs and features and show you this is update 51. The last version was update 46. And the issue being that uh, certain untrusted certificates now won't load unless they're added to a new security uh, sites exceptions list that was added. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you that when you get the error, and it can be quite uh, strange because you've never seen that problem before. If you were on version 46 or earlier, you would simply get a pop-up saying, do you want to allow this untrusted site or untrusted certificate to run? You need to say, yes, go ahead and let it go, and it would run fine. And not all sites that uh, have untrusted sites are very shady or underground or bad because in this example I'm using an official county website to demonstrate the issue. So what we have is no way to fix this through uh, changing security settings or reloading the page or using a different browser. There's only one fix and that's to add it to the site exceptions list. First I'll show you how to do it the easy layman's way which is how a home user would add a specific site to their exceptions list and then I'm going to explain how you would push this out at a higher level if you're working for a company, some kind of corporation, and you have to push this out to a whole bunch of users in a much easier fashion than going to each person's computer. So since I only have one version of Java installed, I can easily go to my control panel and go to the uh, Java configuration link here. If not, you have to navigate directly to it through uh, your start menu or go to your program files directory and find the configuration control panel for the, the version of Java that you're using if you have more than one. I recommend not using 64-bit browsers and 64-bit Java, just always stick to the 32-bit stuff. Under the security tab, you'll see that it used to only have this portion. This is all new stuff down here. This edit site list, this is what we have to work with. Go to the site that's not working and grab the URL from the first forward slash and back. So we just need the main part of that address. And we're gonna go edit the site list and I'm gonna click on add and I'll paste that in there. After we've added that in, we don't even have to do much but just refresh this page. And when we try to run this again, it's gonna give us the ability to block or unblock it. So I'm gonna say don't block it. And you'll see that it runs like it normally should. So that's what you have to do. The solution is either add the site to the exceptions list like I just showed you, or if you don't have a reason that you need update 51, then roll back to update 46. And now let me show you what this does and how to push this out at a higher level, like an IT help desk position person would have to do probably for a big corporation. If you go into the um, computer, C drive, users, this is Windows 7. Of course, you know this is in a slightly different location on Windows XP. And in my username, we're going to go to app data, which is a hidden folder. So make sure you either type it in manually or unhide hidden folders. Local low. And then we're going to go to Sun, Java, Deployment, and Security. The exceptions.site file is where all of this information is stored. So if I open this up with Notepad++, you'll see that the site we just added is listed in here. From this file, I can directly copy and paste other sites in here if I have more than one, rather than having to go through the Java configuration control panel and add them all like that. So I can easily build my file if I have a list of sites in just a matter of seconds directly from the file itself. Now once I save the file and I have it in its form that I want to deploy to everybody else, all I have to do is simply deploy that file to that directory for anybody on a uh, user's computer. So just make sure you change the username to their username and put it in that location. They could easily refresh their browser and the site would work. You don't have to restart the computer. You don't have to restart Java. You don't have to do anything. Once you push this file out to them, the fix is instantaneous. And then so people will be able to use those files and run those applets like they used to on the older version of Java. So for now, whatever works best for you, roll back or implement this fix. 
if you're running into that weird error and didn't know how to fix it, I hope this was the issue that you were suffering from and now you know how to solve it. So everybody, this was Vicious and I'll see you guys next time.